three real. You know what I'm saying? But most people know me by KT. So that's what you, this is just like a nickname or something, KT's growing up? Yeah, growing up. So what made you come up with the uh, name 2 3? Basketball. Playing basketball. 10th grade. Bro, Coop told me he was like, you know what I'm saying, gonna get 23. So that was your basketball, though? Yeah. You went with it ever since? Went with it ever since. It's cool, that's cool. So what made you get into rapping or just get into music in general? Man, really, really, I can say my bro Quanko I got me into rapping. Well, I always like the freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But as far as like rapping, writing wise, I say my bro Quanko for so. So tell us about your music and how do you see your music influencing others? I feel like I just, it just give a good vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, if you just listen to all my songs, I'm telling a story in every song. Like, whether it's about a girl, life, situations at home, like, microphones, um, it's like, it's like, why we came from the struggle wise, so like, we take that, we take microphones, um, we, it's like a family. Like it's a pain side of that too. Like it's two sides, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we come from a struggle. So who's uh, in microphone store, that, that would you say? Uh, Quan Quan, Loose Screw, and Joe Boy. What? What are their future plans? Well, Loose Screw, like, he, we got a couple tracks together. But you know what I'm saying? Like, as I said, I'm working on myself right now. Which he is too, but we still a group. <laughs> but we're dropping solo stuff right now. But like, he he working on. Like, he got a few singles. He finna drop soon. Alright, Joe boy, he got some. Joe boy got some some songs finna drop. We like we all got songs together. Like, but we we really just waiting on the right time to drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't in no rush to drop, man. Uh, I, I haven't dropped my first mixtape, but like I'm working on all that. Like, I got enough songs for it, but like. I don't really want to put nothing out there. It's going to be 20. I'm going to put 23 songs on there. 23 like, songs? For, for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I feel you. Like, they're going to catch on to it. Like, dang, he got 23 songs. But, you know what I'm saying? So, for your first mixtape, you're putting, you're putting a lot out there yeah. from the jump. Yeah. So, so, I anticipate it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stupid. It's going to be crazy, right? Stupid. But, like, but like, <clears throat> like I said, I'm working on myself right now, but, like, I'm not going to be the only one on the tape. I'm gonna have features, like. You what? You know the title of the mixtape yet, or? Name to a number. Name to a number. Explain that. Like, like I said, Big Bro Coop told me to get two, three when I was in tenth grade. You know what I'm saying? But my name was KT. Okay, but I got the number, so I added KT twenty three. Okay. Okay, but as I, you know what I'm saying, kept growing. Like people stop calling me KT. It just went, it just went to two, three. So I, 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 I ran with. It. So you used to <coughs> ball back in the day. Yeah, I played basketball. Play basketball. Yeah. Uh, was you any good? So you who? I love, love basketball. That's all I did every day, nonstop. From I was like six to like nineteen. You know what I'm saying? So you was real live hoop. Man, I love it. I went to college and everything. Oh, so you went to college? You had scholarships or anything? Yeah, I had, I had like three or four offers. You know what I'm saying? They were from like Juco school, but like they were from like out of state in Dallas. So I was, yeah, I was into that for real. It's pretty much a big deal because a lot of people don't get scholarships. So for yeah. you to earn multiple scholarships, that's, yeah. it's, that's pretty big. Yeah. No matter where where you from, yeah. you know. so <clears throat> did you go? So you took the scholarship. You went yeah. to school, play ball. So how many years or how many? I ain't gonna lie. Like like right after high school, like I signed. I signed right after uh, basketball season to a school in Dallas, but I ain't. I'm not going financial aid wise. Like, it wasn't on me. I didn't have nothing to do with me. So I sat out for a year, 
you know what I'm saying? But then I end up going, then I end up going to school. I end up going to school, but I end up choosing another school, which was in Minnesota. But like, I went to Minnesota. I just, I just got back, like, I got back in like March, March 2018. Yeah, so. So like, what happened? Like, so, cause now, you say it, so you said it was your it was your dream to hoop. Right. But so now now you're rapping. Yeah. So just kind of explain like like what happened with the big transition from balling all your life to to rapping. Man, see that's crazy because I'll be thinking about that. Like I'll be like, man, like I was just waking up six in the morning to play basketball, to go to practice. Now I'm standing up to like one at night just to write music, you know what I'm saying? So it's a big difference. Shit, like, my, like my dedication is so strong. Like, whatever I put my mind to, like, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it, what nobody say. So, like, but, like, for as that, man, after I came back home from college, I just, I, like, I started, like, I got a little job, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I build my money up. And one day I was like, man, I'm just gonna go to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Play around. But I actually had a real song I wrote though. So, like I, I was in there, you know what I'm saying? Had my, had my people with me. Ended up doing the song. Like, well, like when the beat came on, like, like in the headphones, like, I, I just knew, I'm like, then I heard my voice, I'm like, damn, like this, this actually sounds good to me. But let me let me see what everybody else think. So like I made that song one night, like the night I made it, the next day I dropped it. Like you know what I'm saying? So you went to the studio one night, then you dropped it the next I dropped day. Dropped it the next day. People, people, I put it on everything. So every social media, every, I mean people retweeting it, liking it, sharing it, coming, everything. So, so it's love from the start. It's huh? love. So I'm like, damn. So earlier you were saying like. <clears throat> your brother Quan was one of your biggest influences to make you get into rapping. So just you know, so during that time from you going from basketball to to rapping, how big of a part did he play from that transition? Man, he like he he always tell me like, bro, you gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? He like, bro, you gotta do something. I, I, be, I was telling him, like, man, I really ain't, really ain't feeling this basketball shit no more. I ain't gonna lie. But, I'm, but I still, like, I'm in college telling him this shit. But I'm still going to practice, still going to play. But I'm telling him, I'm FaceTime, you know what I'm saying? I tell him, like, man, bro, I really ain't feeling it. He's like, bro, you're gonna have to do something. You know what I'm saying? You go home, you're gonna have to work. He was like, shit, why you just wanna try that rapping shit out? You know what I'm saying? But you, you can freestyle, you know what I'm saying? But like try like for real. So like a month before I came home, I'm I'm writing the whole song. I'm in Minnesota writing the song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same song I did that night at the studio. I'm writing this in Minnesota. So shit. It took me like a month to write. So I wrote it, came home, and shit, that was it. And we're from there. We're from there. Now like shit, people kinda looking at me different. Saying. I ain't. I, I wasn't rapping for like clout. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, yeah. I'm rapping because I like it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. like I already had clout. You know what I'm saying? Basketball. Like people know me. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like they they looking at me different. Like I, it's actually people listening to me. Like they like yeah. when you dropping this. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you already got a, a little fan base, or you already got a fan base going? Okay. okay. Like you said, you said you came back in March. So it's only September, so you haven't been in the game long at all. Long. And like I said, I, I see your music. Uh, I listen to it myself, honestly. Uh, but I, I see you, you know, growing as an artist, you know, picking up different pieces and just going with it, you know, because all of this is new to you. So yeah. and, <clears throat> as far as I can see, you handling it, handling it, you know, pretty well. And that, that does say a lot because some people... Start out one way and end up another, and 
You know what I'm saying? But as long as you stay true to yourself, and which I think you are, <coughs> then you, you be alright. You test me telling me some lies, but I really don't know. I held you down like no other, but I had to get gone. Your mama hated us together.